Ancient meets modern through the many forms and facades of the largest city in North America, Mexico City. This city is a hub for architecture and design, where every building has a story to tell. Join me as we uncover the top architecture in Mexico City, and be sure to keep watching until the end when I visit the incredible mushroom-shaped Museo Soy Maya. If you're new here, a little bit about me. I'm Jen, and on this channel, I share tips on mindful travel that changes you. My travels have taken me from Mexico to Italy to Australia and beyond. I'm also a huge fan of design and architecture, and I love admiring it everywhere I go. Now, let's get back into it. Behind me is the Palacio de Bellas Artes. Construction originally began in 1904, which was 90 years ago, and it finished in 1934. It features Art Deco design, Art Nouveau design, and neoclassical architecture. Definitely be sure to add it to your list if you love architecture and design. The visionary architect Adamo Borari designed the Palacio's awe-inspiring exterior. You can see the statues of Pegasus, the mythical flying horse, standing outside the building. The elegance and grandeur of this place is simply unmatched. I'm here right now at the Palacio Postal, the main post office in Mexico City. This building was constructed in 1907, and as you can see, it's awe-inspiring. There's so many ornate and beautiful details here. It's definitely a must visit for your architectural tour of Mexico City. Designed by Adamo Borari, the same visionary behind the Palacio de Bellas Artes, this Italianite masterpiece dazzles with a fusion of Spanish Rococo, Venetian, Gothic Revival, Moorish, Neoclassical, Baroque, and Art Deco styles. Every detail is so intricate and glittering in gold, making it perhaps the most elegant place on earth to send a postcard. Just imagine mailing a letter from here. It's practically like sending a piece of art home. This is the Biblioteca Vasconcelos. And as you can see from behind me, it has like a nice mid-century modern design. It is a architectural marvel and definitely a thing to do if you're looking for a bunch of great design in Mexico City. When we go inside, you're gonna see why this is definitely a place to visit because there are bookshelves that hang from the ceiling. It's truly a feast for the eyes. So definitely bring your cell phone and get ready to take some photos. This colossal library, a creation of Mexican architects Alberto Calac and Juan Palomar, can easily be missed with its fortress-like exterior. Yet inside, it transforms into an awe-inspiring spectacle. The shelves seem to float as you walk past them. We were there at dusk, just before the light faded inside the building, and it was simply magnificent. The National Museum of Anthropology is a masterpiece. There's a huge courtyard and there's a beautiful pond in the center. And there's also this amazing umbrella that's held up with just one pillar. It is massive. Built in 1964, it's called El Paraguas. And the museum just has such a beautiful minimalist design that I just love. Mexico City is a mosaic where ancient history of Tenochtitlan's ruins meets contemporary flair. Home to nearly 9 million people, this metropolis weaves together a rich tapestry of design and culture. Named the world design capital in 2018, the city boasts a thriving cultural scene with museums, art, food, and music that garner international acclaim. Since 2010, events like Zona Maco Diseño, Design Week Mexico, and Abierto Mexicano de Diseño have spotlighted the ingenuity of emerging local talents, making Mexico City a pulsating hub 
for designers and design admirers alike. Next up is the majestic Chapultepec Castle, perched atop the city's highest hill, a grand 18th century palace that commands the skyline. This neoclassical beauty has evolved through time, with expansions and remodels enhancing its stately allure. Since 1940, it's been home to the National Museum of History, sprawling over 10,000 square meters. The castle's design cleverly embraces the hill's slope, integrating gardens, walkways, and exterior staircases into the natural landscape, creating a seamless blend of history and harmony. This is the Museo Soy Maya, which stands out with its futuristic silver exterior. Home to the largest collection of private art in Latin America, the museum contains work by Rodin, Dali, and Van Gogh. We're at the museum's new location in Plaza Carso, which was erected in 2011. If you are an architecture or design lover, visiting here is perfect for you. And an added perk is that it's totally free to visit. For a true look at the city's architectural character, you've got to check out the neighborhoods of Roma Norte and La Condesa. On Avenidas Mexico and Amsterdam in Condesa, the streets are lined with everyday buildings that are actually simply masterpieces. In Roma, you'll find two prominent styles the Portifirian Art Deco and Colonial Revival. Roaming the streets in La Condesa and Roma Norte is one of my favorite things to do when I'm in Mexico City. Whether you're an architecture buff, a design lover, or just someone in search of beauty, Mexico City has something to amaze you. It's a city where every corner has a story and every story invites you to look closer, think deeper, and dream bigger. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more inspiring travel videos coming soon. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.